one of our code enforcement officers noticed what they thought was a paint spill in the lagoon on the east side of Lake Peachtree. They called the fire department right away who came out for containment purposes um, of what we thought was a spill, but we also called the Fayette County Water Department to come out and do testing. And that's how we learned that what we actually have is an algae bloom in the lagoon on the east side of Lake Peachtree. So right now we are prohibiting swimming. Uh, we're prohibiting boating and any activities that could cause you to come in contact with the water. The algae bloom that we're talking about will resolve itself naturally given time, given rain and dilution, and given flow. We had a little bit of rain yesterday afternoon. I was glad to see it. But what we can do is intensely monitor the situation with water quality monitoring. The county is working well with us and we're we're monitoring water quality in multiple locations going forward. We'll see what happens. In our August 3rd City Council meeting, City Council voted to spend the money necessary to, first of all, maintain the existing boardwalk. We will not be shortening the boardwalk. We will also spend $113,000 to fell any potentially dangerous trees, as well as the ones that have obviously already caused damage to the boardwalk. So we are going to do the mitigation. We we are going to drop the trees and then we are going to leave them where they lie and over time uh, nature preserves itself and uh, the wetlands will take over as uh, the fallen logs provide habitat and uh, a, an ecosystem all of their own. We heard from so many of our citizens in an online survey about 75 percent of the responses were in favor of maintaining that boardwalk so that's what we're going to do. Peachtree City did pass our budget. This year's budget will be 51.6 million dollars for fiscal year 2024 which starts October 1st. I'm proud of this budget. It will get us where we need to be in 2024. The next step in the process is three public hearings coming up on our millage rate. We intend to keep our millage rate the same at 6.043, and we will have public hearings the morning of August 10th, the morning of August 17th, and again, finally, in our city council meeting on Thursday evening, August 17th. So stay tuned.